my name is Nikki, and I'm so excited to have you here today to share my practice with you. Today, we will be doing a gentle flow for beginners that will be 15 minutes. So let's get started in a nice, easy seat. We'll start by having a nice straight spine. You can close your eyes and just drop into this space. And come up with an intention for class today. So maybe it's to find inner peace, maybe it's to relieve stress, or build flexibility, whatever it is, bring it to the forefront of your mind. And then inhale, breathe it in. Feel it go throughout all of your body and let it go. Start to scan your body and see how you feel today. Perhaps you're holding tension somewhere. Just be aware of this. No judgment, seeing your energy levels at this time of day, whatever it is, just take note of it, breathe it in, and let it go. We'll start to roll our necks over to the right side, through center, over to the left side, and back behind. Going nice and slow, getting out any kinks you have here. You can roll your neck to the other side. Again, nice and slow. And when you come back to center, We'll meet here, head comes up, and we'll take a nice big inhale, arms rise. And as you exhale, hands come to heart center. We'll do this one more time together. Inhale. And as you exhale, your right arm comes over your left arm for eagle arms. You can try and bring your left fingers into your right palm if this feels comfortable for you. Otherwise, you can just grab your shoulders here. You'll feel this in your shoulders and your back. Just gonna raise up to the sky and lower. Again, if you're in this modified position, raising your elbows up and lowering them. Seeing how this feels in your back, and in your shoulders. We're here for another round. And then we'll inhale our arms up to the sky. This time our left arm comes over our right and we're doing the same thing on this side. Seeing how this feels now that you've switched sides and knowing that each side isn't gonna be the same and that's okay. Just taking note of it. Again, if you need to modify, grabbing your shoulders, lifting your elbows up and down. Good, we'll unravel our arms and we'll place our hands out in front of us, coming into a neutral tabletop. We'll start warming up our spine by pressing into our hands, dropping our belly down, gaze comes up, cow pose. And then chin tucks into chest, raising our spine to the sky, cap. Pose. Again, inhale, cow pose. Good. Exhale, cat pose. Awesome. We'll come back to our neutral tabletop. This time, our right knee is going to tuck into our chest. We're going to bring our right knee out to the side and then around back, making a big circle with your right kneecap. We'll do this again, warming up our hips here. Just making a nice big circle, going slow at your own pace. One more time, rolling our hips out here. 
and planting this right knee back onto the ground. This time we'll do it on the left side. Left knee comes in, bringing it out to the left side and making a big circle with your left knee. Good, nice and slow. Warming up this hip, seeing how it feels on this side. And come back to center. Great work here. We'll press our toes into the mat. Come into your first downward dog of the sequence. Perhaps you walk out your dog, or if you need to bend your knees, that's okay too. Whatever feels good for you and your body. We're going to bring our right foot towards the top of the mat, stepping it through our hands. We'll lower our left knee to the ground and we'll bring our hands to our right thigh, pressing into this low lunge. Feeling the stretch here. We're warming up our legs and then we're going to push back straightening our front right leg here and feeling the stretch in the back of your leg. Hands can come down beside you or perhaps you stay upright. Maybe if you have blocks as well, you can use those. Whatever works for you in your practice. Tuning into how this feels in your body. Taking a big breath in. Letting it go. Let's push back into our low lunge. And then placing your hands on either side of your right foot will come back, pressing your left toes into the mat, and we'll meet back in our downward facing dog. Great work. We'll do this on the other side. So our left foot comes through our hands and we lower our right knee down to the ground pressing your hands into your thigh, pushing forward here for this low lunge. Seeing how it feels on this side, maybe it's a little bit different, and if it is, that's okay. Coming at it from awareness instead of judgment. And then we'll push back, straightening our left leg here, seeing how it feels in our back of our leg. Hands can come out to your sides. Perhaps if you have blocks, you can use those as well. Otherwise, just sit upright as well. You can feel the stretch. Big breath in. Tuning in to your body. How does it feel in the back of your leg? How does it feel in your arms? Tune into where your mind is going and then press forward. We'll come back into our low lunge. Hands come to your thigh. Big breath in. Great work. We'll plant our hands on either side of our foot once more. Our right toes press into the mat. We come back to our downward facing dog. Seeing how this down dog feels as compared to the first one we took. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it feels a little bit different. Whatever it is, just take notice. And then slowly but surely walk your feet towards the top of the mat. And we're going to hang heavy in a forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows if you wish. And maybe you sway side to side. Letting this feel really nice. Good. Just being present here on your mat, not thinking about what you're doing after this class. Just being here. Good, we'll inhale our arms up to the sky slowly as we roll up one vertebrae at a time. Arms come up overhead, reaching towards the sky. Perhaps you come a little bit back, bending your spine, and then hands come to heart center. Come back to your intention. Take a nice big breath in, breathe it in, and exhale. 
Hands can come down by your side for standing mountain pose. Big toes come to touch. We're firming up our thighs, releasing our glutes, standing up tall like a string is pulling us up to the sky. Good. Take a big breath and exhale. Your right knee is going to come all the way up in a 90 degree angle. And then slowly we're going to bring our knee out to the right side, opening up our hips here. And then our knee can come back to center and down. Good. We'll try the left side. Knee comes up 90 degrees. Bringing it out to the side, opening up your hip, and then bring your knee back to the center and down. Good. One more time each side. So right knee comes up 90 degrees. Open up. And then this time when we bring it back to the center, we're not going to bring it all the way down to the ground. We're going to bend into our left knee and then our right foot can come over our left as we come into eagle legs here. Here we go. Take a moment. We're not doing the arms quite yet. Take a breath. And then we'll unravel this. Shaking this out. We'll do this on the left side. Left knee comes up. Out to the side. Center. And then bend into your right knee. Cross the left over the right. Just our legs here, no arms. Take a breath and let it go. Good work. We'll unravel our arms. We'll inhale our arms up to the sky. Exhale, come to chair pose. And we're just warming up our core. Holding here. And I'm going to push you a little bit past your comfort zone, maybe. So let's see. We're just holding here. Feel this in your legs. And then see where your mind goes when it starts to get a little bit tough. Think in those positive thoughts. Here we go. Hold for four, three, two, one. And come on up. Arms come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, this time we're doing the full eagle. So, right knee comes all the way up and across our left. And then this time our left arm comes over our right. So, opposite arm on top than the leg that is on top. So, right leg over left, left arm over right. And again, you can modify your arms here. Whatever works for you. Standing up tall. We're not leaning forward. We're not hunching. And then really take in this pose. Find your balance. Unravel here. We can come down from this great work. Roll your shoulders up and down. One more time. Roll them up. And back. Great work. We'll come onto the left side. So, left knee comes up to that 90 degree angle and pops on over our right leg. This time, our right arm comes on top of our left for our eagle arms. Finding your composure. When things get tough, are you picking yourself up? Or are you getting down on yourself? Be aware of this. Positive thoughts here. If you fall out of it, that's okay. Come back into it. Unravel. Ha, ah, let it go. Inhale everything up. Exhale, push the air to the sides as you hinge forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. We'll lower ourselves all the way to the ground. Cobra, and then push back to downward facing dog or child's pose. Inhale and exhale.
We'll come down to our neutral tabletop here. We'll press our toes into the mat. We'll stand upright here. And then as we open up our chest and press our pelvis forward, we're gonna lean backwards, coming into our camel pose for this big heart opener. Big breath in, let it go. Feel the love oozing out of you. And then bring your hands to the small of your back as you come up forward. We'll come back into a child's pose. Arms can be out in front of you, or you can clasp them behind you. We're neutralizing the spine here. And then we'll push ourselves up. We'll swing our legs out in front of us. We're gonna get a little stretch here. Our arms come up overhead, hinging forward, grabbing what you can. Maybe it's your feet, maybe it's your shins, whatever works for you. And then come on up. We'll slowly roll ourselves back using our abs here. Bringing your knees into your chest, rocking side to side. And then crunching your forehead into a little ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then letting everything go, coming into Shavasana for a moment. Appreciating everything your body did for you today and giving yourself this moment of rest. You can stay in Shavasana if you want to rest a little bit more. Otherwise, you can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and shake your head left and right. You can bring your arms up overhead for a good morning stretch. And then using your bicep as a pillow, rolling to your favorite side into this fetal position. Taking with you any lessons you learn from this mat, any peace, any stillness, leaving behind anything not serving you. When you're ready, you can roll on up to a nice easy seat and we'll end class together with three collective breaths and a final chant of Om. We'll inhale our arms up to the sky, exhale hands to heart center. Again, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale your arms up to the sky, Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll end class with the final chant of Om, connecting all beings as we inhale to prepare and exhale to chant. Inhale. Om. The light and love in me sees and honors the light and love in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. I am honored to be your guide, and I'm so excited to see you on your mat sometime soon. Please like and subscribe if you like these videos, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye.